Family Dinner by William Tran Fade in. Interior dining room night. A family of five eat a Thanksgiving meal together. Mom and Dad, both in their sixties, sit across from each other at the ends of the long rectangular table. On one side sits the eldest child, 28-year-old Tom. He's in a full suit. Jim, age 22, and Marianne, age 21, sit on the other side. Marianne is rolling her eyes while Tom brags about his company. Jim is twiddling his fingers nervously. I was scared that partnering and allowing users to create accounts via Facebook would turn off some customers, but we actually finished the fiscal year in superb condition. That's great, dear. See what happens when you put your mind into it. You end up doing superb things like Tom is doing with his website thingy. Marianne rolls her eyes. Dad is focused on eating his turkey. Jim is still twiddling his fingers nervously. I don't like to think of it as an app or a website. I like to think of it more as a digital engine that adds to the ever-evolving human experience. Like a website? No, a website is more like... more like, uh... Marianne raises an eyebrow at Tom, giving him a look that says, Well, I'm waiting. It's not a website. Well, whatever it is, we are all proud of you. It's children like you, Tom, that make motherhood worth it. Tom smirks at Marianne and gives her a look that says, You hear that? I make motherhood worth it. I've actually been doing something too, Mom. Oh? Yeah, I'm head of a marketing team, remember? For that refrigerator company? Oh. Mom isn't satisfied, but it caught Dad's attention. He looks up from his turkey. It's pretty heavy work. Refrigerators aren't easy to market. How cool, baby girl. You know, marketing makes the big bucks. Yeah, marketing's pretty... it's pretty okay. Just okay? Yeah, I mean, of course marketing is important. At my company, I place great importance on marketing, which is why it's in superb condition. The rest of the world, though, I mean... I don't want to understate the value of your work, but when budget cuts come, marketing gets booted first. Tom is right. Marketing is a superb department, but it's mighty risky. I was nervous when you chose your major, Marianne. Are you kidding me? Tom majored in entrepreneurship. Yeah, I thought Tom's major was much more risky than Marianne's. Yes, but Tom is Tom. Tom smirks at Marianne. Marianne sneakily flips him off. There's a brief, tense silence. For a second, all we hear is the twiddling of Jim's thumbs. Tom's dating app is only taking off because people want affairs. How can you say things like that about your brother? I wasn't saying things about Tom. I was saying things about the website. It's not a website. I'm gay. They all stare at Jim. He sheds tears of relief. It feels so good to say out loud. They all verbally bombard Jim. Jesus, can you go one day without making things about yourself, Jim? Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation, Jim? Do I need to give you more breast milk to shut you up, Jim? What is with the middle child that's always so difficult? Jim shuts up. Tom's phone rings and he picks up a call. Come on, Tom. Phone away. We're eating dinner. I can't, Dad. It's work. Tom picks up the call. Tom Moore, CEO of self-started dating site Cheat Sheet, speaking. Dad rolls his eyes. Don't roll your eyes at him. You always take Tom's side, Mom. I'm getting married. Shut up, Jim. It stopped being cool when it stopped being illegal. Hacked? What do you mean we've been hacked? The family stares at Tom, except Jim, who just received a text from his fiance. It reads... Just got a call from the social worker. We're going to be fathers. Jim, put your phone away. We are at the dinner table. But I have news. I'm going to be a father. Dad walks over, takes Jim's phone, and slams it on the floor. You listen to your mother next time. Marianne's phone rings. Sorry, I need to take this. Work. Go ahead, baby girl. Mom rolls her eyes. She and Dad both go on their phones, too, while Jim cries. The hackers took everyone's data? Yes, hearing about cheat sheet in real time, actually, but not sure what's going on. 
Hackers are posting on every user's Facebook. They did what? I told you we shouldn't have partnered with Facebook. Oh God, no one's going to trust us with their information ever again. Mom scrolls through her phone and slams her fist on the counter. Gerald, what the fuck is this? She shows Dad the phone and reveals a Facebook post made by him, revealing he was on a cheat sheet. How the fuck did that happen? I knew it was suspicious that you made a Facebook for no reason at all. It was just to log into that app. I'm ruined. I'm ruined. How could you do this to our family? We haven't had sex in months. I knew I should have married the grape juice presser at the vineyard instead. He at least wanted to do feet stuff with me. Mom's phone pings again and she looks at another of Dad's hacked posts. She was 17! Yep, and the best I ever had. I want a divorce. Oh my god, this is great! I want the whole team rounded up and ready to go first thing tomorrow. From now on, our target market is victims of the hacking. I want everything directed towards divorcees moving into a new place. Tom hangs up his phone and slams it on the floor. He sits back down at the table and cries. Jim's on the floor, picking up the pieces of his shattered phone. Marianne hangs up her phone and does a victory dance in Tom's face. Thanks for the superb marketing campaign, bro. Oh, I'm keeping the house. You pack your things. And Tom is eating dinner with me on the holidays. Then I get Marianne. They both look at Jim and race to him. Jim goes to me. No, I get Jim. I'm nicer to him. Come on, Jim. You'd love to spend the holidays with me, right, bud? I let you nibble my tit even when you had teeth, baby. They play tug-of-war with Jim's arms, and he smiles. Fade out.